Hey everybody, it's Lon Seibin and the folks from High Point sent along their new Rocket Store dock for us to take a look at. This is their 5411D and what's unique about this is that it basically works like a Thunderbolt dock except it uses USB 3 so it'll give you uh, better compatibility with Windows devices and uh, other computers that lack Thunderbolt but it gives you very similar uh, port replication. So on this one you get gigabit ethernet, uh, you get audio in and out which is pretty handy especially on a lot of these newer devices that just have a single like headset in so uh, if you plug this in you'll get a USB audio device that allows you to plug in uh, a discrete microphone as well as headphones. It doesn't sound uh, as good as the audio hardware might be on a mid to high end laptop or regular computer but it's certainly adequate. It very much sounds like uh, many of the Thunderbolt docks that I've looked at so I would imagine whatever chipset they're using is very similar to those. So not perfect but uh, certainly better than nothing and uh, certainly I would say on par with what you'd get on the low end of the computing scale for audio hardware so pretty good to have that there. Uh, it's also a USB hub so although you're giving up a port when you plug it into your computer you're getting uh, three more back so you have uh, two here on the side uh, and another one on this side as well and you also have an SD memory card reader in here too so you get a whole bunch of uh, extra ports replicated. What I found really neat about this is that instead of an eSATA port they actually give you a spot to plug in a SSD or a full-size desktop drive in here kind of like a, one of their little uh, toaster devices that you can get from them uh, just for drive usage so you get uh, that functionality along with all the other stuff. So what we're going to do now is uh, using this Dell here kind of step through all of the different ports that we can uh, take measurements on and compare it to what the speeds of those ports will be as compared to using a USB 3 device directly with the laptop. So let's get to work and take a look. All right, so the first thing we're going to test is the speed of the drive adapter to see how well everything performs in that area. Now, when we tested this earlier, when we plugged the drive directly into uh, the computer with another USB 3 adapter, we were getting speeds of around 400 megabytes per second on the read and the write, uh, maybe about 10 or 12 megabytes per second less through the dock. Uh, not a huge speed decline, so certainly uh, nothing worth splitting hairs about, so it's just slightly slower. Uh, but uh, it's still getting close to 390 uh, in most of my testing here as I've been running this today. Apologize for the text compression on the, uh, on the test here. It gets a little uh, messed up with the high DPI display on this device. Now what happens though uh, when you start playing around with other things on the dock is you'll see uh, some speed declines. So if we go over to our network test here and run that at the same time, let me move this uh, speed test out of the way, uh, you'll see that uh, performance immediately kind of take a hit as we start uh, pushing a lot of data over the network. So uh, you are pushing everything through a single USB connection. So you can see when you, you know, start really whacking something away with gigabit ethernet, uh, you're going to take a performance hit on both areas. So uh, we'll stop the test here and just kind of run our uh, speed test one more time and see what happens when nothing is uh, going back and forth on the wire. And what I found was interesting is on the Windows side, uh, the ethernet adapter is a little bit slower than it is on the Mac. So we're getting about 630 megabits per second to the computer right behind me there. Uh, when I plug a Mac into this same dock, I get about 800 megabits per second uh, running the same test. The drive speed's the same, so I think it might be a driver issue with the network component on the device. So uh, nothing really to worry about, but I, I have seen just a slower uh, performance on uh, Windows with the Ethernet adapter than I did uh, when I had a Mac plugged in, but maybe they can get the driver improved and fix that. So let's take a look at the SD card slot and see how that performs. All right, so I've got the fastest card in my arsenal here. This is a, a SanDisk card that I was getting about 60 megabytes per second on the read side and 90 megabytes per second on the write side when I had it plugged uh, directly into the Dell. So now let's see how it performs through the dock and we'll switch back over there. And as you can see, we're getting about the same speed, 60 megabytes per second, give or take on the write. And on the read, we're seeing about 90 megabytes per second. Again, I'll run that uh, network test and we'll see if that has any impact on it. This one might actually run a little bit better because we're not uh, saturating that USB controller with uh, all the stuff running at the same time. So you can see that network test really didn't have any impact on uh, the performance of the card reader. So uh, pretty good there. Uh, the USB 3 ports work pretty much as you'd expect them to. So with our SSD plugged into an adapter and then plugged into the dock, we're seeing just slightly better performance out of it. And I think it just might be that whatever controller is on this little adapter has a little bit less overhead to deal with than uh, the controller that is inside the dock. But again, it's such a marginal speed difference. I don't think you're really going to notice anything there. So that is the Rocket Store 5411D. It's a really good alternative to a Thunderbolt dock in that you get uh, pretty much all the same ports that you would normally get with a Thunderbolt dock. You get the addition of the card reader uh, and the little spot to plug your hard drive into the top of it. Uh, what you don't get is video output, so you won't be able to plug a monitor into this like you could on a Thunderbolt dock, but 
uh, you also aren't paying all that much for this. This is about $120, which is uh, considerably less than Thunderbolt docks that uh, cost a lot more and actually don't perform any better than this one does. So this is actually a pretty good value, I think, for both Mac and Windows users, especially if you don't need uh, to have a video output on the dock. So that is it, the Rocket Store 5411D, and this is Lon Sivan. Thanks for watching.